Hey everyone, this is Melly Bass here, and welcome to The Librarian. The Librarian is a short adventure game from the creator of Midnight Scenes. It features a librarian going out to do their duty. Nice room. I especially like the one kind of ceiling pipe that looks like a... Like a Tim Burton... Whoop. There's one right here. Tim Burton snake mouth. So we have a book right now in our inventory. Candle. Let's take that. That's kind of cool. It's kind of 3D and it's kind of not. This owl has a note for us. Something is wrong in the library. Thank you, owl from Harry Potter. You can go back to your movie now. I know work is tough now that the movies are over. One decanter. Take that. I'll need to decanter some wine pretty soon. See, that's the problem in the library. The party ain't started yet. Alright. Wardrobe. Librarian uniform and a spirit dagger. I'm a very particular kind of librarian. With very particular skills, it seems. Outside. That's a really comfy home, though. Living in the bushes. Also, the tree's got faces on it. Hello? Shadow Dog! He's a spirit dagger! Or just pet it. Apparently, it's a little friendly. Here, you want some wine? Shadow Dog? And drink up. Someone can't hold a drink. So, why do the trees have faces? This place has broken windows and broken door. This house does too, actually. Skeletons. But there's lights on, so people are living here? In the damn bloodborne town, that's what. Broken. Of course. Nothing ever goes easy. Yeah, we're definitely not a normal librarian. I really like the perspective kind of shift that kind of happens. So it's not it's quite 2D, but it's not quite 3D. It reminds me of Toomba. Here, let me just do this cliche. Oh gee, what's this gap in the bookshelf for? <laughs> Strange machine. Can handle. Look at this tree branch. Okay. Improvise. Neptune?
Cerberus. Mouse. Yeah, so, yeah, all the Greek gods represent here. I'm glad they make sure that, you know, they got the really obscure one, Mickey Mouse. Very famous, you know, Grecian god. From a librarian. Red lens. This place looks like it's been abandoned. You try something? Whatever, let's just keep going. Student. Yeah, I see their bones. Thanks for the finger. Puzzle solution. So V for Vendetta. Pi. Emoji face. And Triforce. V. Pi. The Emoji Movie. And Triforce. Wrong. Huh. Maybe I clicked something and I didn't realize it. Whoa! Spirit Dagger! So now I'm down to Spirit Dagger, and I realize my life. Guys, you should probably pack more than one Spirit Dagger. Because it's not much use if, you know, so what happens if there's two ghosts? You say, oh, well, tough luck. We only are allowed to one spirit tagger. Darkest times. I'm not dead. I seem to be in a reverse world? symbol right there. It seems to be the same world. But we got knocked out, so... Some kind of mental thing. Everything else is here, though. Candle. A cup? Oh, the statue's changed. Dang, the mouse infects all. You've entered the realm between worlds and dreams. Reverse S. Let's go to the upper level. I don't think we've been there yet, yeah. Because this was sealed off before. And brain. It's 
So... Rain. S. So if you actually look at this, I think this is actually the human body. Because here's the head. This is like a rib cage. And that's like the legs. And the last one's a snake tail. You know, all humans have one. So open the rafters. This library is a lot bigger than I thought. Much bigger. There's also a crow. Hey, buddy. Let me just take this key and you don't do the scary yelling thing or eat me. Yeah. Probably gonna need something shiny. Do it. Maybe crow. Or normal crow, really. It's more like the other one's the weird one. Is this what you want, crow god? Goodbye. Was that the disturbance, or was the ghost the disturbance? I think, I think the ghost is just a normal thing. And the disturbance is a giant crow god bursting in through your ceiling. That'd be a pretty big disturbance, I would suppose. The thing I'm wondering is, what is this world? Like, it seems like there's a lot of things that have gone down in it. Like, it's a, it's a heavy world per... per per se. I'm not sure you would say it's post-apocalyptic or not. It looks like our job is done. Because there's just skeletons casually out and about. So a librarian, I, I guess, is just a glorified ghostbuster of this world. Maybe they're maintaining some last kind of vestige of humanity. The world overtaken by spirits and the magical? I'm not sure. But looks like that's it for the librarian. Like midnight scenes. It's pretty short. Uh, I like both games and what they are. But both are also equally way too short. So they're both good, but they're, they're both way too short. So this one. I think I probably like Midnight Night scenes a little bit more, just because I had some CGs and some kind of nice up, like kind of big shots of like uh, kind of detailed things. This one is a little more pixelated, but the art's still fine and nice. This one is much more vague though, and if it had maybe an hour of gameplay or something to kind of give me a feel of the world, it'd probably be better. The other one, at least you can kind of get the basic gist of it because it's it's emulating an old kind of TV show, or like a horror radio drama. This one, I'm getting the inkling of that there's a big, deeper lore here, and I would love to explore it, because the world seems interesting enough. Um, but we didn't get a chance, so... Hopefully this is not just a one-shot short thing. Because they have an interesting enough atmosphere and kind of setting their guy going there. Um, I, I suspect it is. But it does say more coming soon, so I'm not sure they mean like that's more games are coming, or if like a more fully developed game is coming with this specifically. We'll see. Anyway, so thank you all for watching Play the Librarian. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.